Well, here comes a race I think we've all been looking forward to ever since the dates that Henry Rohr and Gatta were announced and ever since Mahi Drysdale said he would be here because this is the Diamonds single sculling and we could see a little bit of Henry Rohr and Gatta record breaking happening in the next few minutes because Mahi Drysdale of New Zealand who's uh, sitting waiting for this race to start on the Berkshire station to the left of your picture could level the record for six wins in this event Stuart McKenzie's Four. record of six wins when I see that, you are that man both Mahi Drysdale ready, has won five previously like he lost to Hans Abrino from Belgium in the final in 2016 Good. he wasn't here last year so Get this is his ready, chance he's please. been targeting a sixth win in the Diamonds and he's up against Kettle Bjorch again of Norway With Sarah Winkless, fellow okay, Stuart, umpire in this race. So Drysdale against Borch, the Diamonds, single sculling. Borch has really taken this right from the outset. Look at that for a tempo. Wow. <laughs> not he much doubt about his race. strong guy. Yeah. This, it will not be a straightforward race for Mahi Drysdale. No, not at all. I said Mahi, after Rio, had a year off. He's in his comeback year. Um, you know, he's come to Henley to try and obviously win another Diamond Skulls trophy. But he's going up against one of the top guys, you know, who recently came fourth in Linz at the last World Cup. And obviously, Kettle has been in the double skull in Rio. He was growing with Olaf Tuff, so learning for a, another great that's been successful in this particular boat class. You know, and, and he's just one to watch as we go forward towards Tokyo, I think. So Kettle Bjorch setting a blistering early pace. Mahi Drysdale being a little bit more conservative, but he will need to stay in touch. It may be the very early stages of the race, but he doesn't want Borch to get too much further ahead than that. It's been a grueling couple of days. Borch beat Charles Cousins yesterday off the Berkshire station yesterday. We're going off the Buck station today. He beat Burns by two lengths on Friday. And he has looked the man in form here. But Mahe is one of these guys that never gets flustered when he's behind. He just keeps... I don't want to say plodding away because he's still moving pretty quick, but he's really good at just doing his thing. And he's got so much belief in his own ability that he can come back from any position. But it's just what shape he's in after his year off and where he is in his kind of comeback phase. You know, is he... He's nowhere going to be near where he's going to be in two years' time, but it's kind of a benchmark for him each time he comes out and races. Well, he's just maintaining it at the moment, Drysdale, isn't he? Not falling off the pace any further. He beat Graves from the USA yesterday. Petter Tuft on Friday by two and a half lengths. And the New Zealander at the moment with a lot of work to do against Kettle Bjorch, who is uh, flying along pretty calmly at the moment. And it's always when an athlete does that look, sometimes that's the worrying look when they look round like that. So it'd be interesting to see what happens over the next two minutes in this particular race, whether Mahe can hold Kettle or start inching back on him. If he's able to keep moving away from Mahe, then the door will be closed very early. I'm not sure he is able to move away from him at the moment. Drysdale doing the sensible thing. He's a New Zealander who won this last year, the Diamonds last year. Dunham of New Zealand winning this one last year. It was a lightweight. Yeah, unusual. Yeah. And and every time you mention a lightweight, your face lights up. Well, it's, it, it's one of those things, you know, is to, to have a lightweight coming up against a heavyweight and take them down at Henley is massive. It's huge. Um, and I love seeing that. But, you know, it was an incredible race last year. You know, great. It was leading all the way. And it just he just got swallowed up at the end. But this is a different class field we had this year. The record has stood for a long time as well. I don't see that going based on what we've seen so far, but seven minutes and 23. And that's 1989. 1989 by Shalupa. I remember watching him as a kid, you yeah. know. From Czechoslovakia. Was, yeah, he was around for years. Always, unfortunately, the nearly man. Won so many silver medals. Well, neither of these two will be thinking too much about a course record at the moment. Just be thinking about getting their hands on the trophy. And at the moment, it's Borches, but Drysdale, I think he's narrowed the gap a little bit in the... Uh, last few hundred meters certainly hasn't extended it porch has he no and no, that's what i said about mahi he's so confident in his own ability and speed and he will just keep coming 
and he is. He's uh, battling along. What's he got left? Still a lot of rowing in this race. But it's quite interesting for Mahe because he's got an internal battle with the New Zealand team because he's got Robbie Mason who's in the single skull, you know, who holds a world's best time. So internally he's got a battle to actually make the team to be able to compete at the big events. Yes, that's going to be a fascinating tussle, isn't it? So, good race. Drysdale looking to try and equal the record. At the moment, that's not going to happen. He may have to wait another year before he wins a sixth diamonds. He won't have ruled it out. Anything can happen. There's the Norwegian. His arms are the size of my legs. Kettle's arms are massive. When he actually watch him take that stroke. Kettle porch. There you go. If you wanted to know how big Mark Hunter's legs were, <laughs> you know now. But he's in his rhythm there. You know, he's confident, keeping his head still. This would be a very impressive win, wouldn't it? Yeah. If you're going against Mark, he drives that in a Henley final and you throwed it like this. He's bossed it, hasn't he? Mahe still keeping in touch and the thing is with a small boat like a single you can change speed so quickly it's much harder in a bigger boat to change speed but in a single or a double you can really jack it up and change the boat speed very quickly but it is about making sure that Kettle he holds that gap he has he's broken contact with Mahe for most of the course he's kept that gap so he has clear water he must keep that as he comes into stewards and not give Mahe a sniff yeah Kettle Bilt will be hurting right now. Mahi Drysdale just on a push here. He knows it's now or never as far as this year's regatta is concerned. He's not got very long left, has he? And I don't think he's making much of an impression there on Borch. No, it's kind of stuck there, the distance. He hasn't closed it up, but he will keep piling it on. It's one thing that Mahe does. He will just keep going. So, Borch against Drysdale. Borch to the left of your picture. Drysdale to your right. This is the diamond single sculling. Drysdale looking for that little bit of history. Borch looking to upset Drysdale. That's a new world order. And Norwegians so strongly represented today. This will be a significant victory. You can see stewards to the left, really crowded. This will be one of their highlights. Everybody here today watching this one. Just noticed uh, a weight disparity figures are to be believed. Yeah, I think that's having a year off coming back. Yeah. I think that will come through by the way. Drysdale, 104 kilos. And uh, Drysdale, I fear, will know he's beaten now because Borch is not too far from the line. And Norwegian is going for him. Mahe's he's going for him now. And can he this is going to be close. Yeah, he's dragged himself he's, he's right got a back sniff. in. This is impressive. The finish line can't oh, come wow. quickly enough for Kettle we'll Bjorg for Norwegian. The, the Norwegian's led wow. from Temple Island, but Mahi Drysdale, the New Zealander, has he timed this to perfection? He has. Borch is running out of steam in front of Stewart on Henley or Regatta <laughs> finals day. What a place to do that. that and Mahi Drysdale with an astonishing victory wow. in the Diamonds. It's his sixth win in the event to equal Stuart McKenzie's record and he's done that in incredible style he just biding his time all the way down the course patient patient composed and then he turned on the power in that last couple of hundred meters astonishing finish from Drysdale that was wow. an incredible performance and we talk about the Henley course being longer than the normal international course people internationally on the World Cup's Olympic race over 2,000 metres, Henley being 2,112 metres. And you saw the impact in that last 100 metres, what this course can do to you if you're not used to it. That's incredible. But we, we spoke about Mahe, he just does not give up. His belief in his ability. And to win his sixth title in that start is incredible. Hats off, to, that was amazing. An extraordinary way to do it. And Kettle Borch is just outside our commentary box now at the finish line. He hasn't moved since he... Let his momentum carry him over the line, and it was 200 metres too long, wasn't and, it? And you see it, Henley, you know, people being ground down in that last 100 metres, road to a standstill. You know, you can never be comfortable, and that's why you never give up. It's one of those things you never give up to you cross that line, because you never know what can happen. And Mahe got a sniff, you saw him growing confidence, 
Wow. And it's like he just had an extra gear. He just snapped into that extra gear, and that wins him the diamonds.